Hi guys, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add some social proof to your website using an app called ProofSource along with WebStarts. But before I do that, I'd like to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and a variety of other topics. All right, let's dive in. Here you can see I've created a web page, and if I refresh that page, I have some social proof down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Social proof is just an indication to the people who come to your visitors that other people are engaging with your website um, as well as themselves. So for example, it proves that people are shopping your online store, that they're filling out your forms, and it gives them a little bit of a confidence boost knowing that there's a real live working website with people on the other end. So let me show you how I added that to my website using this app called ProofSource along with WebStarts. So I move on over to this app, ProofSource. You can find it at prove and then src.com. And you can see that there are a variety of social proofs that you can add to your website. You can see how it works, that kind of stuff right up here. I'm just gonna log into my existing account and then I'm going to join you once I'm logged in. All right, I'm logged into an account that I created earlier. It's free to sign up, so there's no risk, but you are limited to just creating one social proof with the free account. Here you can see that I've created the social media social proof, but I also created some other ones. Like for example, you can do a stream that shows recent interactions on your website. So if somebody recently filled out a form on your website, you can get that to pop up in the bottom left-hand corner or wherever you designate along with if somebody has made a purchase from your online store you could show that information and you can also show recent reviews on places like google reviews and trustpilot and then you can even do like a custom little message like this one here that says 100 percent money back guarantee anyway for this example i've created the social media um, social proof and the way that i did that is i just clicked on the option to create a new uh, social proof. So I just click, clicked new notification and then I chose the social counter and then I entered the information where they pull the data from my Facebook, Twitter, my YouTube channel and my Instagram profile. I did find it a little bit difficult to find the YouTube channel ID. Apparently you have to go into the settings section of your YouTube account or advanced settings and then there's a very unique channel ID. It's not just your channel name. I'm not sure why they required that, but rather than just the channel name, but nonetheless, that's the way that it worked. And the next step after you enter that information, you're taken to a place where you can uh, enter a display URL, like where you want that uh, particular uh, social proof to display. So mine was my home page. So I just pasted that URL into the field here and then I clicked next and that loaded that up. So then I can create a unique message. That's just the message that pops up here. You can see it in the bottom left. That just pops up above my icons and when you're happy with that message, you can click next. In this customized stage, you can choose where you want that notification position to appear on your page. You can choose whether to hide it on mobile if you feel like that's a little overwhelming for people. And then also you can uh, toggle, do you want the mobile position on the top or the bottom, that kind of stuff. And then you have some other display rules and behavior that you can choose as well. And then lastly, you click next and then you give that uh, notification and name and click launch. Once you click launch, you'll be back out to the uh, page where we were originally logged in the dashboard and you'll want to make sure that your social proof is enabled. Um, the next thing you'll need to do is grab this install code by clicking install up here. Just go ahead and copy it to your clipboard and then what you're going to do is you're going to move over to your web starts account. If you haven't already created a web starts account, go to webstarts.com, click on get started, it's free. Select any one of the templates, they're all 100% customizable and can be changed at any time. I've already, of course, created a Web Starts account, so I'm just going to log in to my existing account, and then I'm going to select the website where I want to add that social proof. I click on Edit Site, and then to add the code to the page, you're going to need to click Insert, HTML code, and then you're going to want to paste the code into the field, 
and then click save and that's going to save and publish that to your web page. You can view what that looks like in real time by clicking on the view site button from the page editor and then that gives you an example of what that social proof is going to look like on your website. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close that tab and I'm just going to show you that if I go back and I select to enable a different one of these um, options here. I can have up to one at a time enabled when I'm using a free account and refresh the page and then you can just see what those other options look like. So depending on the social proof that you want to display on your page, you can just disable and enable the different ones. And when you refresh, you'll see what they look like when they're displayed on the page. All of those can be edited, so if you wanted to do things like change where they dis are displayed on your website or where they're displayed on a specific page, you can do all of that kind of thing. All right, that's it for this video. Using proof source and web starts to show some pro social proof on your website. I really enjoyed the app. I thought it was a great way to draw attention to things like my social media presence and increase the number of followers I have on Twitter and the people subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Instagram and the like. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. See you next time and thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com.